Morning Sprint. Everything you need to know to start the day. Sponsored by Bitter Root Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. It's time for your morning sprint. Brianna Henderson has weather in our headlines. Salish and Kootenai tribes are flying flags at half staff through tomorrow. For Louise Veronica Andrew, who passed away Wednesday, the Kootenai elder was one of the last fluent speakers of the Kasanka language. She worked to revitalize it and keep the culture alive. A rosary is tonight, services tomorrow at the Lake Funeral Home. Suspects are in custody after a vehicle sped away from a routine traffic stop with Idaho State Police and the chase came here to Montana. Mineral County deputy eventually found the vehicle and a warrant for the driver and drug paraphernalia. The deputy took the suspects into custody without incident. In Missoula, we have no word of injuries after an SUV slammed into a town pump on North Reserve. You can see the broken glass, scattered debris, and gaping hole. No word yet on why a 73-year-old woman crashed into that building. A Bozeman police helped a stranded woman in labor get to the hospital. Officers noticed a disabled vehicle blocking Maine, found out it had ran out of gas. Can you believe everything that piled up for that couple? Officers pushed it off the street and found out the passenger was in labor. They figured out she didn't need an ambulance, so they grabbed a gas can from a nearby construction worker, and the couple was back on its way. The Montana Raptor Conservation Center confirms with me a great horned owl is surviving back in the wild. It was electrocuted in the Paradise Valley, went through two major surgeries, and the odds were against him. But the Conservation Center says he has a lot of fight in him and is now back where he belongs. Montana's relatively low snowfall is roughing up skis and snowboards, though uh, shops often make early or late season repairs. It's normally uh, it normally doesn't get so many fixes through the midway part of the season. Hey, crowds are turning out for the big state basketball action. UM is hosting the state double A tournament for the first time in 20 years. You need to expect heavy traffic, and those not going to the games need to park on the south side of campus. In now out over everything here. We've got our four cam up and let me tell you, I've been watching all of these cars driving by Zula. People finally making their way to work and they will have a great day when they get out due to those sunny conditions. And as we take a look out over our three hour radar, Things have been largely quiet and we have not had any winter weather advisories today. Now we have seen a little bit of snow popping up around Great Falls, but once again, that is nothing major and it likely will not accumulate. So that's something to look forward to. Temperatures right now, Pole Bridge at two degrees, Ronan over there at 19, Stevensville at 16, Dillon looking to be 12 degrees and Whitehall over at 14 and 10 in Sealy Lake. As we take a look at today's forecast, sunny, beautiful conditions throughout the area. Kalispell a little bit partly sunny, but it will still be a great day with temperatures in the 30s and 40s. 36 in Bozeman, 32 in Butte, 32 in Kalispell, and 38 there in Kalispell. Heidi? Heidi? Yeah, thank you, Brianna. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage. We'll have detailed forecasts for Kalispell, Missoula, Butte, and Bozeman, and your big state tournament basketball action out of Missoula, Butte, and Billings.